Here is your latest African news. Africa wide, AFCON highlights. Burkina Faso drew with Ethiopia 1 1, while host Cameroon also drew with Cape Verde 1 1. Both Burkina Faso and Cameroon made it to the playoffs. The next matches include Mali vs Senegal, Zimbabwe vs Guinea, Gabon vs Cameroon. We wish all the teams the best of luck. Ethiopia Prime Minister Abi lauds Africa for deciding to hold AU meeting in Addis Ababa. The heads of state and government of AU member states will meet in Ethiopia's capital for two days beginning from February 5, 2022. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed appreciated leaders of the African Union member countries for deciding to hold the AU meeting in Addis Ababa. The African Union summit will be held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia after two weeks. Abiy has recalled Ethiopia's contribution to African issues and reassured continued commitment to the African affairs and pan-Africanism. The government has been undertaking diplomatic efforts to the African countries and the AU Commission to hold the summit in the capital city, according to Ethiopia. Last Thursday, its foreign ministry official commended the unwavering solidarity of Africans shown to Ethiopia on various occasions. Chad Chad leader thanks Qatar for hosting reconciliation talks. Chadian Interim President Mohamed Idris Debi has thanked Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani for agreeing to host peace talks between N'Djamena and rebel groups. President Debi, who heads Chad's Transitional Military Council, said that a delegation from Chad was currently in Doha to meet Qatari officials to prepare for reconciliation talks. The Chadian leaders say they hoped the talks would lead to an agreement on disarming rebel groups, some of which are based in neighboring Libya. Uganda Fuel crisis in Uganda over build-up at border Uganda is undergoing a fuel crisis following a buildup of fuel transporters at major border points of Malaba and Busia in the east of the country. Queues of waiting trucks as long as 70 kilometers or 43 miles have been reported. Truck drivers in the region have been protesting against a requirement by the Ugandan government that they test for COVID-19 at the border points, regardless of whether they present a negative PCR test or not. The directive to test at the border was issued at the start of the month. Uganda later suspended it but there was already a buildup of trucks at the border points. The country imports all its fuels and other petroleum products and consumes about 6.5 million liters or 1.7 million gallons a day. Fuel prices have been steadily rising since last year but a major spike has been seen in the past week. Rwanda Paul Rusasa beginner of Rwanda was absent at the opening of appeal trial. Rwandan hotel keeper had failed to appear before the court for his appeal trial in the Rwandan capital Kigali. Paul Rusase Begina was found guilty in September of involvement with armed group National Liberation Front. The group is accused of carrying out deadly attacks in Rwanda in 2018 and 2019. The former hotel keeper was initially accused of terrorism and sentenced to 25 years in prison. The Rwandan prosecutor officer has appealed against the sentences handed to all 21 defendants. The Rwandan judiciary authorities want the sentences to be extended. In a statement published last week, the defendant's family announced that he would not be appearing in court on Monday. Tanzania Zanzibar sets sight on developing Ireland's blue economy. Zanzibar, under the leadership of President Hussein Mwinyi, is continuing to improve policies and strategies to ensure sustainable utilization of marine resources in order to realize the Blue Economy agenda. The Blue Economy includes the fishing sector, fish farming, established fish processing factories, seaweed farming, oil and gas drilling, and the utilization of the various marine resources as well as seashore tourism. Since taking office in November 2020, Mwini has been putting clear strategies in place that are aimed at exploiting all the opportunities in the marine sector for it to benefit the economy of the island. The blue economy's success results in the building of modern ports and the government is now constructing a multi-purpose port at Mangapwani in Ugunja, Zanzibar. Th thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like this video. It's the best way you're supporting us. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show, Africa in the News, on our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon and donating. And remember, Africa is watching.